Hello everyone, this is The Pretend Critic and thank you for watching my channel. Uh, so I just recently watched Doom Patrol episode 1 to 3 uh, this Friday. Do I think it deserves getting even the DC uh, Universe uh, subscription? Is it even worth watching? I'll go ahead and tell you after this. Before I go ahead and tell you what I thought about Doom Patrol, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to support my channel. So what did I think about Doom Patrol? Basically, it's very, very good. Uh, from episode one, it really hit me. The story was very good. It is out there. It is more like a Twilight Zone, Outer Limits meets uh, superhero. It is meta uh, it, because it feels even more meta than uh, Deadpool. So if you love those, you'll like this one. And I just found out and did some research that Doom Patrol was actually the one that inspired uh, Stan Lee to do the X-Men. I'm not saying it's the same as X-Men because it's not. These are more losers. Uh, these are more uh, rejects uh, from society. Uh, Mr. Robot Man, uh, voiced by Brandon Fraser, And then Mr. Negative Man, voiced by Matt Bomber has uh, a like rap like a mummy so I was very surprised that a good looking man like that would say yes to that and Warner Brothers would allow him to do that so but the voice and then Crazy Jane and then Cyborg and then Timothy Dalton the chief a kind of like an Xavier type and then Rita who is the Elastigirl or kind of blob so what I like about it was in the plot or the first episode, uh, they had some flashbacks, but it was organic. It was more organic to move the story forward. It wasn't something that was just deployed so you can keep saying anything. So far from one to three, there's no uh, fillers like Titans was. Titan was, there was some great episode, but there was some episode that bit hit me, which was a filler. By the way, that's another show that I will do a review uh, soon, uh, the full season. But for right now, Doom Patrol is very good. Uh, the one that stand out or the one that's standing out right now is Brandon Fraser. He really is doing a great job. Even though Robot Man is just basically uh, his brain and supposedly no emotion, you actually feel for him. And he has some great lines. Things that you would watch and do as yourself, you might say. He says it. And there's no fillers here because it is in the DC uh, Universe app. There's no fillers. Um, I know there's a lot of my... It's violence, but in a comic book violence. Not like Daredevil in a realistic balance, but this is more of cartoonish balance and it fits it. Again, this is a kind of a weird uh, superhero, which is very refreshing because we have so much of things of the same. Uh, CW type, uh, even uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is kind of like that. This is a little bit different. It is out there and that's what I like about it. Um, and again, there's no filler. So is it worth getting the DC Universe just for this first three app, a first three episode of Doom Patrol? Yes. Um, for if you are a DC fan, get the DC Universe just not just for Doom Patrol, but for a lot of things. The Reign of Superman is there. Uh, Titans, like I said, is also there. And this first three episode really is nice and if they can do this and hopefully they can achieve more better in swamp thing it is really worth it if you want to binge i would say you can binge on titans even young justice or outsiders is very good as well it is uh, less in quality of uh, in terms of the cartoon or the animation but it is good again going back to doom patrol it is like Twilight Zone out, outsider meets a superhero. It's very out there. It's very meta. It's very good. So have you guys watched uh, Doom Patrol? If you have, leave a comment down below. And do you have the DC Universe? And how are you liking it? Leave a comment down below. And like always, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel. And that's a wrap.